Fukushima is the greatest ecological disaster in the history of humanity. Nobody wanted to talk about it. Even as Japanese responders continue to do heroic work, we know that the damage to the nuclear reactors in Fukushima Daiichi plant uh, poses a substantial risk to people who are nearby. That is why yesterday we called for an evacuation of American citizens who are within 50 miles of the plant. This decision was based upon a careful scientific evaluation. And the guidelines that we would use to keep our citizens safe here in the United States or anywhere in the world. You're a liar! <laughs> Are you lying to me? Are you a liar? Are you lying to me? Many Americans are also worried about the potential risks to the United States. So I want to be very clear. We do not expect harmful levels of radiation to reach the West Coast, Hawaii, Alaska, or U.S. territories in the Pacific. That is the judgment of our Nuclear Regulatory Commission and many other experts. You're a liar! <laughs> Are you lying to me? Are you a liar? Are you lying to me? Are you a liar? When does the lying stop? When does the lying stop? When does the lying stop? Chairman Jasco. Okay, that's good. Well, I appreciate it. And yeah, I think that's it for now, so thanks. And you know, there was one other question on top of my mind, but I can't remember it right now. Well, can you say that? You know, the par still looks good. Chairman Jasco. Yeah, okay. Wiggins. That's always an important thing. Chairman Jasco. Okay. Wiggins. The par looks good. And we'll let you know what the narc, what the president's run results in California and Hawaii and those places. We'll make sure you know that. Jasco. Okay, good. Wiggins. And well then, we'll have to. And then you have this blank area here that we may never know. You're a liar! <laughs> Are you lying to me? Are you a liar? Are you lying to me? Cattle farmers in Fukushima Prefecture have resumed beef exports to the United States for the first time in two and a half years. Plutonium has been found on five different locations on site. And if you remember an earlier video I put together, uh, plutonium is a difficult isotope to detect because um, it doesn't give off a gamma ray, it gives off an alpha particle. And that's not picked up by the traditional Geiger counters. That plus the high background on site makes it very difficult. So this had to be from soil samples. So five soil samples have turned up plutonium. If there's five, there's more. And um, uh, that's a great concern for me. Uh, plutonium got its name from Pluto, the god of hell. And it's um, one of the more nasty isotopes um, uh, that mankind has ever created. Um, this is a gram. The dollar bill is roughly a gram. Well, if you cut that into a million pieces, you have a microgram, smaller than George Washington's eye. One microgram can cause a lethal cancer from plutonium. Now, the, I believe the plutonium is coming from the uh, fuel pool in unit, uh, in unit four, although um, you can't rule out the other three reactors. Um, plutonium is um, uh, evident in all the nuclear reactors. Um, unit three had some plutonium fuel, but all the reactors will have plutonium because the uranium-238 absorbs a neutron and becomes plutonium anyway. Said you could build a thriving economy based on uh, nuclear power and related businesses. That dream no longer uh, can be a reality. And the faster you can come to grips with this new reality is better. A large number of highly radioactive isotopes released by the destruction of the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant grossly contaminated the Japanese mainland. Most of these radionuclides had short half-lives, which meant they would essentially disappear in a matter of days or months. For many of those who were exposed to them, there will be major health consequences. However, there are some radioactive elements that will not rapidly disappear 
It is, it is these long-lived radionuclides that will remain to negatively affect the health of all complex life forms that are exposed to them. Chief among them is cesium-137, which has taken on special significance because it's proven to be the most abundant of the long-lived radionuclides that has remained in the environment following the nuclear disasters at Chernobyl and Fukushima. It has a 30-year radioactive half-life, which is why it persists in the environment. Scientists now believe that it will be 180 to 320 years before the cesium-137 around the destroyed Chernobyl reactor actually disappears from the environment. Cesium is water-soluble and quickly makes its way into soils and waters. It's the same atomic family as potassium, and it mimics it, acting as a macronutrient. It quickly becomes ubiquitous in contaminated ecosystems. It is distributed by the catastrophic accidents of nuclear power plants because large quantities of volatile radioactive cesium build up inside the fuel rods of nuclear reactors. Thus, any accident in a nuclear reactor that causes the fuel rods to rupture, melt, or burn will cause the release of radioactive cesium gas. Long-lived radionuclides, such as cesium-137, are something new to us as a species. They did not exist on Earth in any appreciable quantities during the entire evolution of complex life. Although they, although they are invisible to our senses, they are millions of times more poisonous than most of the common poisons we are familiar with. They cause cancer, leukemia, genetic mutations, birth defects, malformations, and abortions at concentrations almost below human recognition and comprehension. They are lethal at the atomic or molecular level. They emit radiation, invisible forms of matter and energy that we might compare to fire, because radiation burns and destroys human tissue. But unlike the fire of fossil fuels, the nuclear fire that issues forth from radioactive elements cannot be extinguished. It is not a fire that can be scattered or suffocated, because it burns at the atomic level. It comes from the disintegration of single atoms. You remember when Obama told the American public that they do not anticipate any radiation to reach our shores? As it appears, Hillary was telling everyone else a different story on her unsecure email server. Radiation leak from Fukushima reactor. Staff and people should be staying indoors if at all possible. This stuff travels very, very far. There is nothing, no events, no parties, no sports, movies, act that are worth any exposure to radiation. Wear a mask and a hat if possible. Take a shower immediately after you return home and wash your clothes. Radioactive steam was released yesterday and continues today. It will likely be in the area now. I won't be going outdoors for a while. I also came across some more information about Hillary Clinton. Thanks to M. Lord and God, you can find her on YouTube. And she was posting videos about how sick Hillary's been looking regarding her thyroid. And I think that her doctor just released that information that she is on thyroid medication. So it's quite possible that she got blasted from this radiation. So Hillary was telling the people that she's not going to go outside for a while and to wear a mask. So this gets even deeper and you put together that Obama took his family and most of his staff down to Brazil for a couple of weeks as well. I'm just going to go over the document itself, unclassified from the U.S. Department. And there's still about 64 documents related to Hillary's unsecured email server that are not being released. This gives you a little glimmer into the mind of the Clinton-Obama administration. Radiation leak from Fukushima reactor, and then we have some areas of this document have been taken out. Stay indoors if at all possible. There is nothing, no events, parties, sports, or movies that are worth getting more exposure to radiation. This stuff, aka radiation, travels far, very far. Wind is all over the place. We must assume it is heading towards a major area like Tokyo, a city, a heat source. As long as the radiation leak is going, and up to 24 to 40 hours later, the threat is at its highest in most cases. Here is a wind chart online. It shows wind all over the place, but one trend is there. Winds heads to Tokyo. You're a liar! Are you lying to me? Are you a liar? Are you lying to me? Won't you listen to reason? You're a
a liar. <laughs> Are you lying to me? Are you a liar? Are you lying to me? Are you a liar? When does the lying stop? When does the lying stop? When does the lying stop? When are you going to stop the lying? When does the lying stop? When? When does the lying stop? When? When does the lying stop? When does the lying stop? When are you going to stop the lying?